Hey y'all, and welcome back to another video. Today is a speed build, and as you can see on your screen right now, I'm building the land of the house. Um, for this build, I kind of just decided to make a simple house for like one or two people. Um, the lot is in Newcrest in the neighborhood Bridgeview. Um, it's a cute little lot, perfect for a tiny home like this one. Also, I'm pretty sure while building this, I had some sort of restaurant photo, but uh, I don't really know what it was. But yeah, that's why it wasn't really like struggling as hard as I normally do with the outside of like builds. Because honestly, for some reason, landscaping and like making sure all the windows are in the right place and putting the door in the right position and adding a deck is like really hard for me and I like suck at it. It's not even like landscaping i think is the worst because like a lot of the plants like good landscapers use are in like the debug menu and the debug menu you cannot like search for anything okay so you have to scroll you like that like 2000 3000 items just to find one perfect little flower right and very annoying <laughs> i wish they had some, some sort of label for that just in an easier way i'm having to get that like one mod where um like you can like make your little um, scroll thingy bigger, like half your screen, and that might help. Um, yeah, another thing I struggle with, or another yeah, another thing I don't really struggle with is like, the roof. And uh, sadly, I didn't have a reference photo for that, or at least reference photos that like are like meant for like actual real homes in real life never work for The Sims, so I had to uh, wing it. And obviously, wing it with roofing in The Sims uh, never works. Roofing is the worst, and I hate it. And I wish there was an auto roofing feature. But the funny thing is, guess what? The auto roofing feature was a thing. It was a thing. I'm pretty sure it was like a thing in like Sims 2 or Sims 3, and they got rid of it. That is literally like the worst decision I've ever heard EA did, do. You know, like, oh my god. Like, they make, right, I will say that like, EA is kind of like, cool. You know, they make some bad decisions and um, it's a little overpriced. But seriously, number one bad decision of them. Or of theirs is the taking away the auto roofing feature because that would be literally so nice. I hate roofing and I think it is absolutely every builder's uh, nightmare to roof any house. It's it's the worst. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so much negativity about roofing. Um, let's talk about something positive. Let's talk about the garage door of this house. Okay, I am so proud of the garage door of this house. It is beautiful. Okay, it is absolutely gorgeous i am very proud of myself okay like i had to watch a youtube video yes i will say that but like it's honestly not that hard i was not expecting it to be that easy like i, I really didn't know that you just have to put it in the basement and then like use some like bb dot move objects cheat to get it upward and i'm like oh my god that sounds so easy why did i never think of that um yeah I, i'm very glad <laughs> i'm gonna have to like, edit my other builds so to like include garage doors now Speaking of editing other builds, I was actually kind of planning on like once I finish like each neighborhood of like a world or something, I make like a speed build kind of video, probably like shorter than like, 10 minutes. It would just be like me fixing mistakes because I did like delete a bunch of CC, like I deleted like my whole CC folder recently. So I'm and I did use a ton, like a not a ton, but like a definitely a decent amount of CC in my builds, especially in the speed build series. So I might have to go back fix the missing cc problem and then maybe like fix like some you know kind of ew that looks kind of ugly you know kind of mistakes because i feel like at the end of this like i'll i'm probably gonna be like a way better building than i was when i started so like the beginning houses and like the ending houses would probably be like super like you know different it'd be like one that sucked and then one that didn't suck um and i don't really want that to happen so you know I might start doing that. So if you see like a video, you know, probably like not in the next video video, but like the one after that might be like a editing mistakes video. Um, yeah, I think that is all I wanted to talk about really, because I I don't really have much else to say for like the building part of the thing. Like, well, basically the entire video. I might do a bit on like like the different rooms and be like, oh, I really like this part of this room. I really like this part. So um, you'll see me. I hear my voice again in like I don't know six minutes so goodbye for now I'll be back for the um 
the little tour. Okay, goodbye.
Hey guys, uh, it's time for the room tour segment of the speed build. Um, this is the first kind of like room, I guess. It's kind of like the entry hallway. Um, honestly, very boring. I have a few critiques about, crit crit critiques about this uh, room, in air quotes. Um, honestly, it doesn't have any like, coat rack, it doesn't have any painting, it doesn't have any life. Like, it, it's the most basic room. It, you can really only see like the living and dining room right now, so I'm gonna be like, oh, but there's stuff there. The actual like entryway hallway is like the two doors that have wall things. So, not my favorite. <laughs> kind of sucks um in okay the next room is the bathroom honestly um i don't really know what i was doing when i decided to put a bunch of lights on the wall it's just like a light wall and it's like the only light source in the room so i don't really know how taking a shower would work in this room because i feel like it'd be a bit dark even with the light wall because there's no like light above so it'd only be like top like one fifth of the light wall would actually like light up the um the shower i don't even know how that works anyways we're not coming over with just sticks of showering but you know it's not that bad it de i definitely didn't put much effort into it because i didn't really know what to do i think this is one of like the last rooms i finished because i just was like i don't really know what to do with this room let's just let's just put a light wall make it interesting um okay so the next room is the living and dining room i love this um i don't really know okay the one thing i don't like is the um the grass wall i don't know why i did that it was i wish okay what i wish i could have done is i could have slipped the top one so the white wood is on like the top and then like the grass was connected still but we can't really do that so i yeah no i couldn't do that um and then the the blinds like the curtains are really ugly <laughs> They're the only curtains I could really find that like looked like semi good for a three space like window, so I just kind of like stick with it. And then yeah, okay, everything was just, like basic. Okay, like this is like pretty basic. I'm pretty sure. It's, it really just has like the chimney and the, and the fireplace for like the living room, and there's really nothing on things. So like if I were really to really like touch up the house a bit more, I'd add a few more things, you know, like little trinkets and stuff. Next up is the kitchen. I love this kitchen. It's beautiful. It's I love the blue thing that's going through this like house. It's just gorgeous. Like I just I love the Parenthood Packs kitchen. It's just so great. And I love the um little um, jar like light hangings. Like, oh my god, those are beautiful. I love to use them in like every single room. Um, so I use that in the kitchen. It's kind of like a it's kind of a small kitchen. I will say. Like, it's very open, but it's very tiny, like, counter space, like, on the wall. There's only really one, like, counter you could use to, like, set stuff down on that isn't the, um, island. But, like, that's kind of why I needed to add the island, because you literally would not be able to cook in there if you did not have the island. Um, and then for the coffee bar, this is actually my favorite part of the whole house. Like, it's so gorgeous. I feel like it'd be even better if you added, like, some paintings. In, or not some paintings, but like some pictures in a little picture frame. But I just love this because like it has everything. Like, it's just so cute. It's in a little corner. I don't really know what to put there. So I put this here and it turned out to be my favorite thing I was built. Okay, the next thing is the master kind of bedroom. Or the only bedroom actually. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Also, first off, I don't mind the little flowers sticking in the wall. Um, that isn't bad or bad for the house or anything don't worry about that um yeah i really like this room um i did say this was meant for like one or two people but it's really only one living room in here like you'd have to have someone sleep on this weird chair thingy or couch or something because there's there wasn't really a way to make this room work like well for any like kind of bedroom situation so i kind of just thought of it like oh what if it was like a the like dorm room like like, what if just, just some like, random college student or something I just lived in this house? But also, like, it felt really fancy for a college student, so I don't really know. It's also, like, not in the college, like, um, world, so I don't really know if that would make sense or not. I don't really know what college the student is going to, but yeah, I'm, I don't really like this one that much. The bar, um, I also don't like that much, because it's kind of just a cop-out. It was kind of just like, eh. I don't know what to put here, so I'm just gonna put a bar and some 
to wall stuff. It's also very like basic. Like the color scheme of this little area is so white and black and I hate it. It's kind of gross and it's like, oh, it's so basic. <laughs> Um, the next thing is the garage. You can see the lovely garage door. I didn't really know what to put here, so I just put like the um the bee box and like I don't know what it is, but it's like the little the insect box where you can like collect things and you can turn it into like gas, I think. And there's also the car and then like the little um upward or vertical like garden thing, which I thought was pretty cool. I what I do not like about this room is that um the since the um the garage door kind of thing is like kind of like um, supposed to be a glitch. It always has weird lighting of the outside area, not the inside lighting, so it always looks weird. Same thing with the chimney in the living room. I hate when you put something that's halfway outside and then it picks on the lighting of the outside. So I think that's definitely something EA can fix. If, if any EA person is watching this right now, please fix that. So like. When something's on both the, the inside and the outside, the inside part would lit by like the inside lights and then the outside is lit by the sun or like the moon or whatever. Um, that would be really nice. Yeah, and then um, it's just like the, this is the picture of the like the actual, well this is a thumbnail technically picture, but yeah, this is the, um, this is the outside side of the house. Uh, it took me a bit to actually take this photo just because like, I don't want to go on build mode because every time I take like a build mode photo, I have to like edit the like weird build lot lines out, and that gets really annoying. So I had to like get a sand, and it was like in the middle of winter, so I had to skip. I had to wait until spring, and then I had to wait until like everyone was gone. I had to like take control of all the Sims in the area so they wouldn't walk past. That's why you see like random people in like the background of some of the room photos. Um, but yeah, this is what the house looks like on the outside. I do. What well, I will say that I, I just realized that I forgot to like add the picture of the backyard but, you know you'll see that in the um, actual speed build well you you've probably seen that in the actual speed build but yeah you know I don't really I don't really hate the landscape to be honest I do think it's a little messy but it definitely isn't that bad I do like um I do like the little deck thing and I wish I would have put like a chair like a flower box or something and i also do like the incorporation of the um the mailbox into the flowers i thought that was cute and then i do kind of hate the roof how it has that like weird extra part that i had to add i hated that i had to do that because it kind of ruined it but you know it's not too bad you know and also i also wish i would have like blended in the brick a bit more for the driveway but honestly that's a bit hard i don't really know what to do with that yeah but that's it um Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the house. I hope you have a great day. And uh, bye.